episode. What's going on? Let's talk about it. What time is it? It's 11 32. Earlier, it was my blood pressure. Showed y'all this coffee, cigarettes, blood pressure don't mix at all. Elevates it. I'm going to take it during this session. So you can see what it is. Let me get myself ready. Like I said earlier, was before cigarettes and coffee. I still haven't taken the medication yet. My trusty blood pressure monitor. So what on your forearm? Get your little thing so it's lined up on the front. Feet flat. Do deep breaths. You try to find your calm. The nurses say, "Go to your, go to your place." Hit the start button. All right, test is complete. Now, show me what I was talking about. See, my systolic is 165. My diastolic is 102. Now, my systolic went down, right, since this morning. But my diastolic, which is the pressure when or in between my heartbeats, went up, right? So the pressure when I'm in my calm state went up from earlier today it's now 165 or 102 now like i said i've been drinking on this cup of coffee all day this cup of coffee just one smoking cigarettes i think i smoked uh two cigarettes since I took my blood pressure this morning, which is good. Two cigarettes compared to how much I normally smoke. But you know, I'm learning about my habit. You know, doctors will say triggers. It's like when you're at work. You know, when you're at work and you want to get
get away from work for a second, you'd be like, I'm going to take a cigarette break. You might not even want the cigarette as much as you just want to go on a break and get off. Cigarette smoking is like that. That's been the pattern of the vice. You know what I mean? I'm doing better. I think definitely doing a lot better with the coffee. Because the coffee, oh man, just go ham with that shit. Cups and cups and cups and cups. Didn't I mean didn't help much that I was working at a place where I could get cups all day. And so that's what I did. Cups all day. Yeah, you know I mean, about this size, about the 24 ounce cup. Shit. Big cups. And that too became a habit, a routine. Right. And that's probably what it's more about. It's probably more about the routine of it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a whole ritual that go with smoking cigarettes. In the past, you know what I mean, it used to be popularized. You know what I mean? It was a thing to do on TV. If you go back and look at old movies and shit, you'll see that. All the stars smoke cigarettes and they all worked hard to make smoking look cool as hell. You know what I mean? Like this is what the rich people do. All right. So there was that aspect of it. Now it's just routine and ritual. You know what I mean? You go, you buy your pack, right? Grab your pack, pack your pack. Right. Why do we even do that? <laughs> Why do we even pack the pack? What is that? Right. To get the excess what tobacco. Because when you pack the pack and you take your cigarette out, what it look like? It look like the tip of the cigarette. All that tobacco has been packed down some so it leave a space at the top. Or maybe when you pack the pack, you just shook the tobacco out. In any event, it's the ritual of it. You know, pack the pack. You know I mean, take your cigarette out. Used to be a time when I packed the pack, take a cigarette out, and turn one upside down. What was that ritual about? Turning one cigarette in the pack upside down. All right. Shit that you do when you smoke. Then there's the smoking itself. <clears throat> you know what I mean? The whole lighting of the cigarette. The holding of the cigarette. Smoking cigarettes with no hands. You learned all that shit. Right? Like I said, all this shit was made to look cool. Like, remember... Kings of Comedy, Cedric the Entertainer, talking about the old man at the garage who had the cigarette that just kind of hung on his lip. You know what I mean? All them tricks. Smoking cigarettes. The vices that we do. All right. They got whole campaigns now. Talking about the dangers of cigarettes and now the dangers of the alternative to cigarettes, the vape. Did that too for a little bit. You know, tried to vape. Hated the way the motherfucking juice of the vape found its way to the back of my throat, though. That was nasty. So I had to get a vape thing up. The vape just wasn't that long getting it. Back to the cigarettes. You know what I mean? I don't even know which one is worse, for real, for real, in terms of chemicals and shit. 
I mean, we could look it up. Let's do that. Let me educate myself. <clears throat> because vapes were supposed to be what? Less nicotine? Let me share my screen for a second. Pull up a chrome tab. I need that. Open that up. And let's look at chemicals in tobacco. All right. <clears throat> let's go to the main ones who would know. Let's go to the American Cancer Society. All right. According to the American Cancer Society at cancer.org, you know, give shout outs to where this information is coming from. Harmful chemicals in tobacco products. All right. All types of tobacco products contain chemicals that can be harmful to your health. All right. Tobacco smoke. Cigarettes, cigars, and pipe tobacco are made from dried tobacco leaves. Other substances are often added for flavor and to make smoking more pleasant. The smoke from these products is a complex mixture of chemicals produced by burning tobacco leaves and its additives. Tobacco smoke is made up of thousands of chemicals, thousands. I just had to look at that myself and just let that sink in for a sec. Chief Big Eyes, Kevin, tobacco smoke is made up of thousands of chemicals, including at least 70 known to cause cancer. These cancer causing chemicals are referred to as carcinogens. 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 Some of the chemicals found in tobacco smoke include what? Nicotine, the additive drug that produces the effects in the brain that people are looking for. That good old nicotine. <clears throat> Hydrogen cyanide. And when you see cyanide, or when I see cyanide, I, I just got to think of the cyanide pills. You know, that motherfuckers, suicide pills. But this is hydrogen cyanide, formaldehyde, lead, arsenic, ammonia, radioactive elements such as polonium-210, benzene, carbon monoxide, tobacco-specific nitrosamines, TSNAs, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs. Poly, many cycles of aromatic uh, smell, you mean hydrocarbons, particles that smell. There's an endless cycle of those, a polycycle. Anyway. Many of these substances cause cancer, right? Now that my eyes is looking at them, I'm like, the fuck is wrong with you, man? But it goes to show, you know what I mean? How even suicide can be made to look cool. So some can cause heart disease, lung disease, or other serious health problems too. Most of the substances come from the burning tobacco leaves themselves, not from the additives included in the cigarettes or other tobacco products. So, you know what I mean? This shit get active when you put that fire to it. You know what I mean? But the radioactive material in tobacco smoke, I gotta say, I never heard that shit before. I never heard that there was radioactive material in tobacco smoke. This shit is new to me. It says 
radioactive materials are in the tobacco leaves used to make cigarettes and cigars. These materials come from the fertilizer and soil used to grow the tobacco leaves. So the amount in tobacco depends on the soil the plants were grown in and the type of fertilizers used. See, I never thought about that shit, but it makes sense. These radioactive materials are given off in the smoke when tobacco is burned. Again, when you put that fire to it, which people who smoke take into their lungs as they inhale, inhale. Yeah, I'm inhaling and I'm inhale when I'm smoking this shit because, you know what I mean? It's just when you think about it and you be honest about it, you know what I mean? It's just <clears throat> a bad life choice. It don't really enhance your, what's, what they call that shit, your quality of life. It don't really enhance the quality of life. That's the illusion of the shit. All right. Am I tripping? All right, so this may be another key factor in people who smoke, getting lung cancer. Fortunately for me, but I still got one more test to take, but fortunately, I don't think that I have contracted lung cancer. You know what I mean? So thank the most high for that. You know what I mean? And whatever adjustments you made to the body to make me able to withstand this shit that I'm doing to it, <clears throat> so then the CDC goes on to ask the question, is cigar smoke different? Because look, the other thing is, you know, we roll up other type of smoke in, you know what I mean, tobacco leaves or cig cigar leaves, for real, for real. So let's go into that. So cigar smoke has many of the same toxic and carcinogenic compounds as cigarette smoke, but some of them are present at different levels, okay? Because of the aging process used to make cigars, cigar tobacco has high concentrations of some nitrogen compounds, nitrates and nitrites, right? When cigar, cigar, when cigar tobacco is smoked, these compounds give off several tobacco specific nitrosamines. I'm gonna have to look that word up, TSNAs. Some of the most potent cancer causing substances known. Well, that's what that is. Some of the most potent cancer causing substances known. Also because the cigar wrapper is less porous than a cigarette wrapper, right? The tobacco doesn't burn as completely. This results in higher concentrations of nitrogen oxides, ammonia, ammonia. You know what I mean? Like I'm smoking, uh, what's that shit we use to clean <laughs> things and toilets and shit? Ammonia, carbon monoxide, and tar. All very harmful substances. Now, mind you, all the information that I had about tobacco, you know what I mean, was like commercials, you know what I mean, and PSAs and shit like that in my own experience, you know what I mean? I never really went and looked directly at like what um, agencies like the CDC say about it. But now that I'm looking at this shit, like I said, I did not know about the radioactive materials, but I have to think now about what if I took some tobacco <clears throat> and planted that shit <clears throat> on Mount Trashmore? What you think that tobacco would be like? And that's my way to put that shit in a frame of reference for my damn self because Mount Trashmore out here and maybe in the area where you at is a mountain of trash. And the byproduct that comes from that shit is methane. They venting methane out of that shit. And that's a whole nother story in itself. But now they've added to continue on with the CDC. 
smokeless tobacco products. Because remember, I was talking to, and I said I also tried to vape shit, which is smokeless tobacco, like snuff and chewing tobacco. They got the snooze, which they used to sell in the store. It was a moist snuff that doesn't require spitting. Stick that between your cheek and gums. They got the dissolvable products. You know what I mean? The heated tobacco products called heat not burn products. You know what I mean? Let's say your e-cigarettes and shit like that. It says, <clears throat> on average, smokeless tobacco products kill fewer people than cigarettes. But while they're often promoted as less harmful alternative to smoking, some types have still been linked with cancer. Some products may expose users to lower levels of harmful chemicals than regular cigarettes, but that doesn't mean that they are safe. Exactly. <clears throat> less don't necessarily mean better put it like that so yeah cigarettes and that whole habit <clears throat> and its effect on my blood pressure because as you can see from the reading that I gave my diastolic Again, which is my blood pressure in between heartbeats, right? Or in music, that would be the rest. Like if I was playing the beat, the part just before the turnaround, yeah, that part. That's where it would be. That's where my blood pressure would be. And it's elevated. It's elevated more than it was from earlier. So <clears throat> what can I do from that? Right. Because, like I said, my systolic blood pressure went down from, from this morning's reading. Right. And this morning's reading was before I had eaten anything, before I had drunk anything, before I had smoked anything. Right. And <clears throat> the blood pressure that I took this afternoon also is not inclusive of the medication because I haven't taken the medication yet. So I'll take the medication and then I'll do another reading in about, I don't know, I'll give it an hour. You know what I mean? The doctor or the nurse practitioner, you know what I mean, said it usually takes about 25 to 30 minutes for the effects to, of that drug to, to set in. So we'll check it out. But, you know, that's my, um, that's where I'm at with the cigarette thing. And like I said, I'm getting better with it because I got to, you know what I mean? I'm trying to, you know what I mean, extend. You know what I mean? The life that I got left, you know what I mean? Barring any kind of crazy ass accidents. But if it's all going to be due to natural causes, I'd rather, you know what I mean, live out as much of, you know what I mean, the 120 years I can live out, right? And not in a decrepit way, but in a healthy way. You know what I mean? I still want to be able to move around like my ancestors are moving around at like 70 and, you know what I mean? Even 90s, you know what I mean? Although I'm, a, I'm going to want my 90s to be a little bit better. Still don't. <clears throat> Cigarettes. I ain't even talked about the phlegm and all that shit that come from the tar. Because, you know, smoking. It's a work in progress, working on it. Yeah. So update on that. I'll let y'all know what the next um, blood pressure reading is. And then 
need to find out just because you mean American Indian. Do American Indians have um, elevated blood pressure naturally? Let's figure that one out. Because, you know, physiology and shit, you know? All right. You know, <clears throat> I call this video the ones that kill your spirit. That's one of the ones that kill your spirit. Cigarette smoke and everything that's involved with it because a lot come with it a lot it ain't just like i said it ain't just the smoke it's a whole culture around cigarette smoking you know what i mean shit that you do okay. still lighters and shit like that or <clears throat> how about this one the <laughs> the people that watch you buy a pack and be outside the store waiting to ask you for a cigarette these is all the shit that come along with smoking. You know what I mean? It don't seem like nothing, but you know what I mean? It's a lot of energy flowing in there. Because think about how you feel when you come out of the store and you're packing your pack of cigarettes. <clears throat> and you know this dude been hanging out in front of the store all day. <laughs> yeah, that's cigarettes, y'all. Let me know if you're struggling with that shit. 